name is Roderick Jackson. I work in the Buildings Technology Research and Integration Center here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. One of the things I, I guess that, that I can say that is, is very exciting for me is to be able to work on buildings as a solution to our, our energy and our climate needs in the country because a house built today is only somewhat more efficient than a house built 10 years ago. And what we're trying to do is reduce the amount of energy that goes into the house. And so the way to do that is to first reduce the amount of energy that's lost through waste that's lost throughout the building envelope. And secondly, we want to reduce the amount of energy that's used in the house through appliances, through building equipment, such as your refrigerator, such as your HVAC system that provides conditioning and comfort in your home, and then use renewables or some other source to provide the energy needed to the home. Some of the things that we're doing in the laboratory, some of the materials that we're looking at, how can we, without compromising the size and the comfort in the home, what type of new materials can we use to increase the amount of insulation value, per se, in a wall? You want to be able to test these things and evaluate them in a real-world environment, but you want to, in contrast, have a controlled experiment and really evaluate what's the impact of that new material or what's the impact of that new technology, that new heating and cooling system or the dehumidification system in the home in an integrated fashion. For example, one of the projects that we more recently um, just completed was a, was a collaboration with a local builder here in East Tennessee where they provided the land and the, and the bricks and the mortar and we provided some of the expertise in the building, the, the building knowledge per se of cutting edge, I like to even say bleeding edge of technology and building construction. So we partnered with them, we built four houses, each house had a different strategy to say, what are some of the best ways we can do this? And so after doing this, running the experiments for two and a half years, and the key thing is that the builder of this industry, they all learned. Just by working with us, they increased the efficiency of the average home that they built by 30%. So that means before working with us and after, there's a 30% difference in how they build houses. And that impacts the market because now they, other builders that will work with them will have similar effects. Other trades that work for them will now do the same type of practice with other builders. And so that's kind of the exciting part about what I do per se is because we work with some of the, the more cutting edge, the emerging technologies, more of the development. But the role that we play with the Building America program at the Department of Energy is to actually how can we accelerate market adoption of some of these new technologies. You know, you don't want something that that lab guy just came up with and said, this is the great thing for your home. But some of the things that we do by proving it in a real world test facility and then working with other Building America program teams or other teams that have identified builders that are somewhat more adopting or, and, and more uh, accepting of risk and then we can help populate the, the, the market with these types of new technologies so that then the market adoption or market practices can then take over. So that's some of the things that we do to actually take it from the computer, the design, to the concept, the lab, the bench level, to the actual home and testing it and then integrate it into the field. For example, one of the things that we worked on was the first to market of its kind uh, integrated uh, approach to providing space conditioning as well as water heating utilizing the ground source heat pump. This ground source integrated heat pump, we worked with the manufacturer to bring the idea from a, a laboratory to actual field study and then worked out some of the quote unquote bugs so that now this, this product is on the market and actually being sold to homeowners all over the country. I grew up from the age of three on a construction site. And so I, I grew up just looking and observing and being a part of the whole construction business. So it's, it's very fascinating for me to see just that transition of me becoming a, just from a kid picking up straight nails on the job site to now actually working on changing how buildings are built in the U.S. and the world. So that's going from just a one nail to actually how nails are implemented across the country is, is fascinating to me.